Hi, this is Mr. Hammer. I'm going to show you how to orient my website. First, at the top, you'll type in www.mrhammer.ca. Then you'll go to the math page down here. There's a bit of information about my flipped classroom as well as some other things. The flipped classroom works where students watch videos at night at home and then they do a couple simple homework questions and then the next day in class they would work on the higher level questions with other students while I take up some questions on the board. Where would they find those videos? Well then you would go to the homework page and you would scroll down to the calendar and in the calendar for example on September 15th it says to watch two videos 7.2 number one and 7.2 number two. Well that would be located on the left under math we have all the different chapters and there's 7.2 and there's some information up here there's a couple posters I've uploaded and down below all that you can see video number one and video number two so students would watch those videos after that they could go back to the homework um, calendar and see which questions they are supposed to do for homework so in this case uh, let's I don't have it listed here but let's say it's 257 number 3 page 257 that's section 7.2 Students are supposed to complete homework in my class in a very specific manner. And here's an example of student work and what it would look like in their notebook. They complete every question in their notebook. And as they are working, they have a PDF file open which has the homework answers on it. So, for example, we're going to scroll down on the homework page and find chapter 7 answers.pdf students would have this file open while they were working they would scroll down to the appropriate section let's say 7.2 and they would look at the answer and see if they got their answer right or wrong what they would do then is as follows they would follow this very simple scheme if they got it incorrect they would put a red X beside their question like this one over here if, however, they got it incorrect and then were, were able to correct it, either by watching the video or looking at the textbook, they would put a check. So here's the second scenario, X check. Finally, if they got it correct on the first try, it would just be a check. So this student, by looking at her homework, she got the first three questions or four questions correct. The last one she got incorrect at first, but was then able to correct it on her own. This does two things. It allows students to identify the areas where they would need to study, clearly the X's. It helps me as a teacher determine which areas to help them with. And finally, as parents, it can help you determine very quickly if students have completed their work. Simply check the homework calendar, find out what they were assigned, then check their notebook and see if they have X's or an X check or a check beside every single question. So that's the homework page. Finally, we also have extra practice homework. That's on the left side menu here as well. So sometimes I assign extra practice, which is not in the textbook. They would go to the appropriate section. So for example, chapter seven, and there's extra practice for section 7.1. It's one page of questions. Here's extra practice for 7.2. It's another full page. It's always one full page of extra practice questions. So if a student says that they are finished, you can ask them, did you complete your extra practice questions? At the very end of all of them for a particular chapter will be sample answers, and that's where they can check their work once again. If you have any more questions about this or how your student is doing in school, simply contact me at my email, michael.hammer at tdsb.on.ca. And I should mention that there is a free online tutoring service provided by the Government of Ontario where Ontario certified teachers work with students from grades 7 to 10 online and it's worth checking out this as well. Thank you very much. I hope this has helped you understand how to navigate my website.